in Carmel. Mm. Parents uh, trying to take action before the coronavirus hits there. An online petition has more than a thousand signatures asking the school to allow students to have e-learning days if they don't feel comfortable going to school. News 8's Travis Robinson spoke with Carmel residents and parents about their thoughts on this petition tonight. What do they have, Travis? Yeah, well, right now there's over 1,200 signatures. Uh, last time I looked about 20 minutes ago. But uh, not all these parents, these are, uh, these signatures are parents. There are some students. They've also got some false accounts on there. But the school district wants parents to know that they're not ignorant to the virus. The numbers climbed as support rolled in for an online petition asking Carmel Clay schools to have optional e-learning days, even though they have zero coronavirus cases. Honestly, I'm not a fan. <laughs> you know, I think that it's a little bit of an overreaction. It's also smart to get ahead of it before you just wait till everyone's getting sick. It seems like it's kind of too late at that point. The petition claims optional e-learning would help the school get ahead of the virus, but many parents I spoke with said they weren't sure what the right course of action for the school should be. I you know, I may sound wishy-washy, but I am not an expert, and so I guess I do stand in the middle. I can see, you know, there's going to be positives and negatives for either decision. I say use your voice where you can, and in the end, I completely and totally trust Dr. Beresford and Dr. Woodward um, to use the resources that they have available from the experts that actually know about how um, public health needs to go. The school sent an email to parents in response to the petition saying they aren't taking action, but they're not blind to what's going on around them. If we are directed to close one or more of our schools, our staff is prepared to use Canvas and G Suite tools to deliver instruction and learning experiences for our students. Just like the district, parents I spoke with say it can't hurt to make a plan and be prepared. There is nothing wrong with preparing yourself, preparing your family, preparing your child, having, you know, child care plans in place, having a, you know, a couple of box meals or microwave lunches in place, talking to your neighbor and maybe swapping days you're going to miss work, making sure your internet connection is good. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being prepared. Now, Carmel Clay Schools did launch a website to answer any questions on the virus and their plan. We'll have a link to that on our website, wishtv.com. I'm Travis Robinson, Wish TV News 8.